Okay, cool. So now we're going to look at, we have a question about structural equivalence. So here we have seven different types, and we're going to talk about how to decide which ones are structurally equivalent. Okay, so the easy way to do this is we make a, a table of types. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. A bunch of lines. Okay. Great. Okay, so first, so we assume that everything is structurally equivalent. Right? So that's what we do at the start. So we assume everything's structurally equivalent, and we go through and we're going to try and prove that things are not structurally equivalent. So, 0, 0, we know definitely structurally equivalent. 0 and 1, are they structurally equivalent? Nope. Nope. No. Okay, we know 1's an int, 1's a string. In, ints can't be strings, so they're two basic types, so the two basic types aren't structurally equivalent. They're not, I mean, they're, if they're not the same basic type, they're not structurally equivalent. Okay, 0 and T2. Why? It's a pointer. It's a pointer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, 0 T3? Nope. Uh, 0 T4, 5, 6, we can kind of use what I talked about today. So these are all structs, so there's no way they can ever be the same thing. So actually, that's a good question. So let's add a T7 in here. The structure containing. Yeah, that's what I put it as. Or no, so the question, yes, the question is, that's the case. So, is T0 structurally equivalent to T7? Yeah. Yeah. There's an additional no. layer. So what's the definition of two, two structures being structurally equivalent? They contain the same yeah, they're both structures, and they both have the same number of fields, and all, all of their fields are structurally equivalent, right, in order. So even though we know that the C compiler, these are going to be pretty much exactly the same, right, this is going to take up the exact same amount of space as this, they're not structurally equivalent because the programmer specifically said, hey, this is a structure, and they said this is an integer. So those are definitely different, so they're still not structurally equivalent. Okay. And it's still throwing a type. C would still throw a type error, right? Yes. I'm, I'm about 90% sure. 95% sure, yeah. I th I'm pretty sure it would throw an error, but who knows? C was weird. Okay. We know 1 and 0 are not because it's symmetric. 1 and 1? One. Yep. Yep, structurally equivalent. Uh, is a string a pointer to no. integers? No. Is a string a pointer to strings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it any kind of structure? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Oh. All right. So here we have a pointer to uh, T0. So it's not structurally equivalent with an integer. It's not structurally equivalent with a string. We've already done that. Uh, is it structurally equivalent to itself? Yes. Yay. Uh, is it structurally equivalent to a pointer to T1? So the question is, how do we know, right? So we say, OK, are they both pointers? Yes. 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 Okay. So for them to be structurally equivalent, both of what they point to have to be structurally equivalent. So is T0 and T1 structurally equivalent? No. No. So we see that there. So we see, nope. T2 and T3, not structurally equivalent. And these are pointers. These are all structs. There's no way those are ever going to be the same. Okay. T3, we've already done T3. No, no, no. T3 and T3? Yep. Uh, T3 is a pointer to all of these structures. Nope, never going to happen. Okay. T4, here we have a structure, so we can see four. We can see these are the same. One, two, three, four. It's always structurally equivalent to itself. Okay. T4 and T5. So, first thing I say, are they both structs? Yes. yes. How do we know if two structures are structurally equivalent? Same number of fields, and each of their fields are structurally equivalent in order, right? So this has to be structurally equivalent to this. 
So here we have an int, and here we have t6. So is t6 structurally equivalent to an integer? No. No. So this whole thing fails. If it was t7, would it be structurally equivalent? If here? If t5 on a was t7, would it be structurally equivalent to a on t4? Is this, is t7 structurally equivalent to an integer? No. Nope. Nope. Very good question. All right, four and six. So here we have the first field is an integer. The second field is a T5. Is T5 structurally equivalent to an int? No. No, no because it's a structure. Four and six. Four and seven. Are they structurally equivalent? No. But they have the same first parameter, the first field. They have different numbers. Exactly, different numbers. So. All right, five will copy over from here. All right, five is structurally equivalent to five. Five is structurally equivalent to six. So do they have the same number of fields? Yes. Is T6 structurally equivalent to T5? We yes. assume yes. Yes, exactly. We assume yes. So great, our table says yes. So let me go on to the next one. Is array of ints structurally equivalent to an array of ints? Yes. 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 What if this was array of T0? Why did we assume it was still, still, yeah, still. Ah, that's the very first step that we do here with this table. So we assume that there's check marks in all of these <coughs> rows. But so we don't have to raise Exactly. Them. We start off by assuming that they're all structurally equivalent. So anything I haven't filled in, we consider structurally equivalent. Okay. But, exactly. So that's this, that's the first part of the step. I just don't want to draw all the uh, check marks. Okay, so is an array of integers structurally equivalent to an array of T0s? Yes. yes. How do we check? Because T0 is an int. Right. T0 and int, are they structurally equivalent? Yes. yes. Yep. Great. So T5 and T6, structurally equivalent. T5, T7? No. No. Nope. Different number of fields. All right. T6, we can copy from here. Check mark for 5, check mark for 6. Uh, T6 and T7? Nope. No. Nope. And T7, we've actually already calculated it. All knows. Okay, now remember this is just like first and follow sets. So we went through the table. Now to really be sure, we'd have to calculate it all again. Mm -hmm. Right, to go through. Um, really, the only thing. T5, T6, right? Mm -hmm. So now that we've done that, because now we assumed that they were the same, now we can do this and look here and say, okay, it's T5, T6, are they the same? Is, is, so they have the same number. Is the first one the same? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, our table says yes. And is the second field the same? Yes. Field says yes. Yep. We didn't make any changes. So now we know that these are structurally equivalent. What if? Um, but I couldn't instanti instantiate these structures. Yes. So they're right, structurally equivalent, but the compiler could not create these structures <laughs> because in, yes. in C. Exactly, in C, because these would be infinite. Yeah, you could use a language like Haskell where you could have infinite data structures. Um, so in C, it'd have to be a pointer to blah and a pointer to blah, and then, then you could uh, you could actually instantiate them. But they're still structurally equivalent. I have a definition problem, too. T6 hasn't been defined. Before. Yes. That was what I was thinking. That's another problem. What if for a struct five, for example, at A, you have instead uh, C comma A and then T6? Uh, Wait, where? So on A, you would have uh, C comma A. That's all you would change. So you would just add, um, yeah. So for here, for example, you would add C and then it equals that. Ah, uh, well, can you do that or uh, not? I would say on a struct, the way we've been doing it, no, because okay. uh, because the order matters. So which okay. is the order here? Right? Does A come before C or does C come before A? Oh, no. oh yeah. So what if we had a switch though? So it had to be like like this, like a C T six. Can you my black backpack? Which one? Yeah. Right behind the Can you have uh, A and C together? No, not on a structure. Okay, definition. you have to have them template yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. Because you're defining the different fields, so you, okay. the order of, in our definition of structures, the order map is the thing that matters, okay. not the names. So when would you go back and decide that they're not structurally equivalent? When you can prove that they're not. Okay, and you do that by referencing the, the table? table? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So what if, okay, in that case, 
so let's say it's back to the way it was mm -hmm. on struct five. Yep. And instead of just T6, what if you had a pointer to T6? Uh, you're here? You need a pointer to T5 here? Uh, no, no, on struct five, T6, yeah. What if it's a pointer to T6? Okay. So we would get to, let's say, five, six here. Mm -hmm. So we assume that they're structurally equivalent. Mm -hmm. We look, we say, do they have the same number of parameters? Are they both structures? Yes. Yes. Do they have the same number of parameters? Yes. Or some parameters? Fields? fields? Yes. Yes. Okay, first field. Are these types equivalent? No, they wouldn't be equivalent, right? Because T5 is a struct and then the other Exactly. We know that T5 is a struct and we know this other thing is a pointer. So, so there's no it, way that can so be So it doesn't equivalent. matter if it's a pointer to a struct, it's still because it's a pointer, exactly. correct? Okay. Now the question is, what if we change this one? Would they technically be the same? So then we get to there, 5, 6. We say, okay, are they both structs? Yes. Uh, how many fields? Do they have the same number of fields? Yes. Okay, their first field, they're, pointer. they're both pointers, so that's good. So then we check the middle ones, T5 and T6, are they structurally equivalent? Yes. Yes, we've assumed so, so then we go on. Okay, cool. Good. It would be the same if you had a ray to right? Exactly, yeah. It doesn't matter what, it could be, you know, you could have, because we talk about functions, right? It could be T5 returns int, T6 returns uh, T0, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's They're still equivalent. Exactly, it's still equivalent. As long as it doesn't say this is a pointer to a pointer of an int, right? Like, okay, let's say T5 struct okay. went to Thank pointer you. of mm -hmm. T0. And then T6 went to to pointer T2. Because then technically that's a pointer to a pointer. Of exactly. So we do exactly the same thing, right? Yeah. We go here, we say, are they both structs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do they have the same number of parameters? Yes. Yes. Look at the first field. So this field, are we want to see if they're structurally equivalent. Are they both pointers? They are pointers. So that means. T0 must be structurally equivalent to T2. Yeah. We've actually already calculated it. So is T0 structurally equivalent to T2? No. 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 So, so this whole thing's not structurally equivalent. All right. Equivalent. So that's, yeah. That's yep. You drew the line this time. Huh? You drew the line this time. Yeah, it took forever. Yeah. No, in class, I remember I asked you that question. Am I supposed to draw another line? Because it's, you're, you're recording it. Oh, this. Yeah, that, that line. That's, that's how I was confused. That's, yeah. I saw that, I guess, later. <laughs> or while I was doing it here. Any other questions on structural equivalents? Okay, I'll stop this recording for now. Good little chunks. What's structural equivalent?